Welcome. Don't let my sultry and mysterious voice startle you. For hundreds, nay, thousands, nay, 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 tens of thousands of years, people have come to me in search of what they desire most. Few find what they are looking for, even fewer ever leave. Welcome to the cave. That's me, the cave. Yes, yes, I'm a talking cave. Don't laugh. It makes dating hell. Besides, I have a really interesting story to tell you this evening, so pay attention. It's a story of seven people and a glimpse into a dark place in each of their hearts. But be careful before you judge. There is a dark place in your heart as well. Someday you will find yourself descending my depths in search of what you desire. And you might not like what you find either. But enough about you. This is about them. The scientist. She is moving along. The hillbilly. On this fine night, he searches for his true love. But does desire burn too brightly in his heart? The knight. He is on a quest for a sword of unequaled power. I guess we're done. The scion. Well, impatient, aren't we? Oh, the adventurer. She is hot on the trail of her lost... Hmm, the knight. Okay, next on the list. The twins. They just want to go outside and play. What could be more innocent than that? Adventurer. She is hot on the trail of her lost companions and unequaled ancient treasure, but not necessarily in that order. You break it, you buy it, just say Careful, if that bridge breaks, there might be no way back up. <laughs> oh, 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 I hope you're not here to visit the cave, because we, we, we're closed. <laughs> A gruesome and horrific accident has occurred, and there's no way we can open. No way. I shudder to even describe to you what has transpired. For the nightmares will forever haunt your every thought. Well, if you insist. When I came in, we had no trinkets to sell in the gift shop. <laughs> Oh, the humanity. I, I'll never be the same. Some things you can't unsee. What am I gonna do now? <laughs> I can't lose my job. I need the health insurance. <laughs> the cave is doomed without gifts. How am I gonna make my fiscal quarter projections now, huh? <laughs> this is the end of the cave. The end, I tell you. <laughs> uh. 
There's nothing to experience here except bitter disappointment. Why would anyone visit a dark, damp hole in the ground without getting to buy an I caved and bought this shirt t-shirt? Hey, if you're gonna stick around, could you at least, you know, pretend to be an indecisive customer paralyzed by choice? Oh, the humanity. I, I'll never be the same. Some things you can't unsee. What am I gonna do now? <laughs> I can't lose my job. I need the health insurance. <laughs> the cave is doomed without gifts. How am I gonna make my fiscal quarter projections now, huh? You know, there is a way I could reopen. Allowing you fine adventurers to partake in the unique experience that only the cave has to offer. I Just three. Let me say that number again. Three. Take this giant novelty size key. It's cute, isn't it? Open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. Haste makes waste is a stupid saying. Still, get cracking. Three trinkets. It's not like I'm asking for a hundred trinkets. Or even five. That's the number of trinkets I need to reopen the cave. <laughs> he is a funny little man, isn't he? I should probably fire him. I think he's dipping into the till.
There's no dying in cave. At least not this soon. So much left for them to learn. Okay. 